Hello, bros, and welcome to the next video, Bro Fire Production, Nepa, let's cure a dungeon. So, come right here, and we jump in where we left off last time. Yeah, this is it. Uh, yeah, I need to lower the sun a little bit. Oh no! A group of witches! What are we gonna do? Is it actually that we been on uh, working on the doors for like forever? <laughs> Something get a little annoying. Fox Tamer, a Fox Tamer, Fox Archer, and of course it's you, me. I wonder what the next one is. We're gonna meet up. Because we met many uh, different Sakura girls down here. Why are the flies here? Where are the flies coming from? This uh, cold hotel outside, and the flies still here. Should have died by now. Check the map. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say. <coughs> of course. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Why well, must be way down here? I guess I fall down. Huh. No, I got into a battle instead. I accidentally pressed forward actually. Oh, we are in luck. Instantly, Sherry brings the item she found to me. It's another remnant of uh, that statue you mentioned. Excellent, we are closer to finishing it now. From the pearl like stone in her hand, Sherry suddenly seems very curious. You are holding something that is precious beyond your understanding. Do not be so careless with it. What? What is the statue made of? It's a marble that is partly infused with the essence of the divine. Not something which can be easily made today. So you could say that I'm holding a piece of a god? You could say that. When you think about it in that way, this feels very surreal. The gods are supposed to be the untouchable to us. 
Yet I can touch the, the vine with my own hands right now. The dog as will, will commune with the gods before humans do. Mark my words. I will believe it when uh, it happens. Found a piece of the lock statue. How big is this dungeon? Oh, of course. I can tame her with uh, Yumi. Should not take her down unless it gets critical. Oh come on! Resiliency. Uh, six. Uh, let's see. Resilience five, four, and three. You don't have much resilience. <laughs> uh, yeah, Silver doesn't have much resilience, so let's give it to her. Oh, come on. Why sending three witches when you can send them? Oh, come on. Why the hell do we need one HP? Wasn't it two steps before I fall down? <laughs> right now I just explore. Well, uh, at least we can find all the pit bubbles. annoying you're fighting the same things again and again. Well, I'm leveling up so I can't complain too much. a pitfall straight ahead. I'm not gonna deal with that. <coughs> not anything special. The 
dungeon. We should be uh, about half the way through the dungeon by now. Well, I don't think we are. I think the game has some trick up its sleeve. Some big uh, twist in the end or something like that. No way. I guess I have to go this way. I guess that is the case. And back. And I can both to take her down. Oh, come on. Catch a tiger before we go back up. Oh, come on. Alright, let's see into the game. Now you're just trying to mess with me. Come on! What did just happen? Put an out man. Stop that. Stop it. I'm too far for this game. I'm never gonna fight the tiger, I think. This is just ridiculous how much uh, it happens. Actually, I don't need to go back to the surface yet. Because if you think about it, I never used anything else than Yumi and... Silly. 
I believe this is the end of this floor. Really? Please tell me that you aren't just saying what I want to hear. I feel a strong presence on this door. The door. If we are taking into account the usual trend of the previous floors, that means the exit is behind this door. I wonder if whoever is behind the door is responsible for this floor's design. When I was in Salt, monsters were rarely given an architectural control over floors. Well, things have already changed a lot from when I was here. So it's possible. But a lot of pitfalls. Sure, perfectly burst into the room. Whoever is here, show yourself. She's being a lot less careful than before. And here I was thinking that I could uh, get, uh, be grumpy at times. Goes to show that uh, everyone can get angry. Save your anger for battle. You are simply wasting your energy otherwise. Why else do you think I'm trying to start a fight? How do you expect to defeat this powerful person if you can't focus? You must be uh, approaching this with a clear mind. My mind is perfectly clear. I know exactly what uh, the um, goal I am aiming for. What? Who is it? Oh, what is this? A priestly looking fox girl appears before us. Ah, Amiko. Interesting. Tell me, fox spirit, do you know who designed this floor? Oh, that was me. Why do you ask? I would like to have you uh, a word with you about it. Her eyes are practically glowing with anger at the moment. Calm down, Sherry. If you let anger cloud your judgment, you are going to give the, uh, her the upper hand. I cannot say that I don't care about that right now. Well, it looks like that my floor design wasn't successful. So I guess I will just have to change it after I'm done with you. If I win, I will make you change it myself. If <laughs> if I win, I will make you change it myself. Alright. That's a little weird uh, sentence. Pitfalls are um, among the lowest, uh, dirtiest traps in existence. I don't understand why you're so angry about it. You managed to get through it eventually, right? Only after falling more times than I care to recall. Enough talk, let us settle this fox spirit. Very well. If I win, I decide uh, I'm going to add even more pitfalls instead. Two fox archers emerge from uh, their hiding places. I would rather not be outnumbered, however. <laughs> Twenty-seven. That's not too bad. But uh, we actually are pretty even here. Sherry is level twenty-three. Sylvia is level twenty-three. Just as the fox archers, but you miss level twenty-four, and uh, the fox Miko is uh, level twenty-seven. So this is gonna be interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna try to get the fox archers uh, down, both at the same time, that is. Of course. Of course! Storm. That's gonna be good. Oh, come on!
Oh, come on! Kind of ridiculous. Though. Yeah, that was dumb. Well, this is not going good. Let's just take down the uh, fox. Every time it gets to something like this, they always make them much uh, more able to evade. Get down now. Yeah. Gone. I feel much better now. Why do you hate pitfalls so much anyway? Well, I saw another adventure in my party fall into a pit trap, and there was some sort of slime creature at the bottom of it. Needless to say, I cannot help but feel anxious around them, remembering that. Do not be so narrow, uh, <coughs> wine med. <laughs> Flying can be a lot of fun. <laughs> I think that we really need to expand your horizon, Sherry. I will pass, thank you. Maybe I should conjure a slime monster from the void. Maybe you should if you don't want maybe you shouldn't if you don't want me to pluck those ears off your uh, onto yourself. The witch bunny looks like she's about to say something, but then uh relents uh <coughs> when she sees Sherry glaring at her. Slime are a necessary part of nature. There is hardly any Karen eater which uh, does as well as they do. Then they can eat their carrion as long as they are far away from me. I can re relate to how much you hate them. The fox archer looks down at her bow. Believe it or not, but arrows are not very effective against slime monsters. I usually have to end I usually have to end up using my bow as a cudgel. The important thing is that we have passed yet another floor. How much further do you think we have to go? I'm not sure yet. But I'm certain that we are far from the final floor. Right. She looks down at the floor. You talked about home on the, the last floor. I'm feeling a bit homesick too. Some of my friends uh, at the guild are probably wondering what happened to me. I know how you feel. Ever since the Elven Metropolis was established, I have had little reason to travel, save for the rare expedition. But now I do wish I was home. Nonetheless, I'm glad to be here. I owe you me a debt of all. You do not owe me anything. And if you're feeling homesick, Sherry, perhaps you would like to go visit your guild sometime. Do we have to the time to do something like that? I do not see why not. Well, I understand the necessity for clearing out this dungeon as soon as possible. But I wonder, would appreciate it if we took the time to visit my guild. Just talk to me whenever you would like to do that. No problem. For now, shall we press on? 
absolutely. Alright, I'm just gonna check the next floor but just to see if it actually is so that they are a teleporter there. Yes! <laughs> the teleporter. We're just gonna talk to the cash of cat witch also. Then we're gonna end it. Spare cards are not difficult to hold inside a prison. So much uh, so the human kingdom, as I can recall, are used to enchant enchanted cells. While expensive, it was necessary process to protect themselves from their prisoners. Mimicking their magic has proven to be a very useful time and time again. But it does not help me deal with the other half of my problem. It's bad luck to keep a cat indoors when they want to leave. I'm not even sure if the superstitions she is uh, spouting are even uh, remotely true. Keep your feline instincts in check for a moment. Oh, you're back. Would you mind letting me out? Her tail weighs around in there. <coughs> I have no doubt that she would be rubbing her uh, head against me if she uh, could right now. I promise that it would be good. The combination of a cat and a witch, uh, as I said before, is dangerous. Cats are mercenary by nature. Witches are reckless in their pursuit of the arcane. So it is very hard to trust a cat witch. I'll let you out, uh, <coughs> out, provided that you will be willing to make a deal with me. What sort of deal? She is purring now and I can hear it. You must work for me. I promise that there will be plenty of benefits for the job, however. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, you go anyway. Let's see. Uh, Sylvie, you me. Uh, let's see. You first, and then we're gonna add Fox Archer, and then the Trite Woman. And now we're gonna save. <coughs> and we're gonna go and visit Yumi Sherry uh, Skilled next time. But at least that was all I had for Sakura Dungeon this time, then. So hit like and subscribe, and see you next time. Bye bye!